One of the most popular features of the Ultimate Product Catalog plugin is the Custom CSS Styles option for styling individual catalogs. In this video, we'll go over how to use some of the most commonly requested custom CSS tips, such as how to stop a long product description from getting cut off, how to change colors, how to replace the arrow icon, how to hide elements, and how to change the font size. CSS, or Cascading Style Sheets, is a style sheet language which is great for creating more unique and engaging page design. While you don't need to be fluent with CSS to use some of the more basic fixes demonstrated in this video, some familiarity with the language is useful. To follow this video, you need to be familiar with a few CSS-specific terms, selector, property, and value. The selector indicates the element the CSS rule applies to, for example, a paragraph tag or heading. The property indicates the aspects of the element you want to change, for example, color or font. And the value specifies the settings you want to use for the properties, for example, yellow or sans serif. To get started, head to the Catalogs tab and click on the catalog you would like to edit. For each catalog, there is a text area labeled Custom CSS when you click on a catalog to edit. To create custom CSS styles, you simply need to add your new CSS to the text box and click Edit Catalog when you're done. We'll start with one of the most common custom CSS requests we receive, how to stop a long product description from getting cut off on the product details page. The solution will depend on whether or not you are using custom product pages. If you are using the default product page layout, you'd want to add the following to your custom CSS. The selector for the product catalog's additional details description div with a property of max height with a value set to none. Once you've added this to your custom CSS box, click Edit Catalog. Now when you look at your catalog, you should be able to see the whole product description. If you are using the Custom Product Pages option, you simply need to go to the Product Page tab and customize your page by dragging out the product description area to a size large enough to fit the text. Next, we'll demonstrate how to change the color of elements of the catalog. A useful trick when customizing your own catalog CSS is to experiment using the code editor function included in browsers like Chrome and Firefox. To begin, simply target the element you would like to style, right-click, and select Inspect Element. If, for example, you want to change the color of the details link on the thumbnail view, you would right-click on the arrow and select Inspect Element to open up the code editor. You can now inspect the pre-existing code and experiment with style using the editor. If you want to change the color to green, you would find the selector, in this case, UPCP Thumb Details link, and the property color. You can click on the little swatch value and choose a new color. When you are happy with the style, you simply copy the new code and paste it into the custom CSS box on the options page. Another popular and practical customization is replacing the details link arrow. To begin, you would want to upload the image of your choice to your WordPress media library. You will need to use this image URL for your custom CSS. Next, you will want to enter the following into your catalog's custom CSS using the URL for the image you've selected. It's important to specify background repeat, no repeat, and position center right so that the arrow does not tile. The selectors you will need are UPCP Thumb Details Link, UPCP List Details Link, and UPCP Detail Details Link. You will need to specify values for the following properties, Background URL, Background Repeat, and Background Position. These values should be your Image URL, No Repeat, and Center Right, respectively. Remember, the snippets of code demonstrated in this video are included in the video description. This should make it easier to follow along and to copy and paste into your own custom CSS. Perhaps you would prefer to remove the details link arrow entirely. Another useful bit of custom CSS is for hiding the elements on the page which you do not wish to display. To do this, we will work with the selector prodcat details link. To get rid of the arrow entirely but keep the word details, you can add prodcat details link background none. If you wanted to get rid of both the arrow and the word details, you would add prodcat details link display none. Another common fix is to hide the image scroll bar beside the additional images. To do this, you simply need to add the selector prodcat additional details thumbs div with an overflow Y set to auto. 
Also on the product details page, some users prefer to hide the link beside the product name. To do this, add UPCP product URL icon, display none. While there are nearly endless possible CSS customizations, we'll wrap up this video with a brief example of how to change the font size in the product catalog. The specific code will vary depending on how you want it to look and what size font you are interested in, as well as what elements you would like to style. To style the font for the entire catalog, you would want to use the selector prodcat container and then set the attribute font size to the size of your choosing. In this example, we'll use prodcat container with a property of font size and a value set to 14 pixels to make the font a bit smaller. The CSS snippets used as examples in this video are included in the video description for easy reference and for copying and pasting into your own catalog. Check out the plugin page of our website for additional information or subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with future tutorial videos for this and other plugins.